You know, as much as I like my simple Bodor, I think I'm going to want something that's really going to decimate the local wildlife. <laughs> Lucky for me, every piece of wildlife I've killed so far has given me gold. And someone lost their glasses. These are mine now. And I'll come back for you. I promise to be very responsible with this sword. Now, where'd that crab go? Please don't take this personally, but you do need to die now. I think my ore is better than this sword. So we're going to go ahead and steal a better weapon. Now, where do we find a better weapon? That's all I want. Here's something I haven't killed yet. Hold still for a sec. But also don't hit me. Definitely gonna need a little more damage. Alright, I see. They just pop out of the bushes whenever they feel like it. Because they don't want to fight fair. But that's okay. I don't want to fight fair either. I keep forgetting I can jump. But jumping also doesn't avoid the rats. And I think I died. I've got 20 seconds to what? Haunt the rat? Are you sorry you killed me yet? Because I'm gonna come back and murder you real hard. I mean, there's an arrow guiding me somewhere. Oh, okay. I'm immortal, by the way. So, no big deal. The rat I did kill dropped me a shiny thing worth only two gold, but that's one more than what the crabs would drop me. Another shiny thing from another rat. Now how exactly do I go about opening this thing? Oh, there we go. I got it. We're being attacked, but we got some honey or honeycomb. No species is safe from me. Stupid boar can't even fit through the fence. Now after running around murdering things for a few short minutes, I'm up to 46 gold already. So that should buy me some kind of upgrade. Like a shield for only 18 gold, but that's a pretty good start. To upgrade my current sword, I need some wood. For wood, I assume I need this axe, which is 235 gold. So I need to steal a little more stuff before we're going to get that. I found the old lady whose glasses I sold. Uh... Luckily for her, she's wearing a pair on her head. She's just old, so she doesn't really. I'm quite sure they were worth much more to sell than they were to her anyways. And I just found an entire gold ingot in one of the chests upstairs, so that's probably pretty big profit, considering I did just steal it. The shield does make fighting things a lot easier, because if I time it right, I can actually parry their attacks and not take any damage at all. Oh, I think I just found a better hammer in this sunken ship. Sorry about your luck, whoever died on this, but it's my stuff now. It does 1 to 8 damage. My sword did 1 to 4, so it's potentially double the damage. And it's a two-hand weapon, but that's fine by me, because if I kill everything before it has a chance to hit me anyway, then we're all winning. These boars are actually pretty hard to kill when they're out in the wild, but I think we'll have this one under control. There we go, you just hit it till it dies. And here's a sapphire. That's got to be worth a few bucks. If I don't manage to find anything too valuable by killing things, I might start farming or fishing. Hi, how's it going? Just stealing your stuff. Thanks. Making my way back to a merchant. The sapphire is worth 24 gold all by itself. The single most valuable thing we've had. It's this little fella. He's got a hammer like mine. Goblin. Goblin, I hope you have something valuable. If I'm going to take time out of my busy day to kill you, you need to make it worth my while. Should be the final hit. There we go. What do you got? Six coins and a stinky palm leaf. I definitely need a higher damage weapon. It takes me too long to kill these idiots. The cave of treasure looks fun. I'm going to put my healing on. This should heal per second. And we're going to steal their stuff. Don't worry, guys. I'll be gone before you know it. Crystal's here. I'm gonna need a pickaxe before I can mine those. Anything else worth taking? I think I see a chest. Thanks, guys. I'll be on my way now. Not even sure I was supposed to be able to jump over to here, but I made it. And there's always a secret behind a waterfall. This one seems to just give me a chest so far with a stone axe. Found another weirdo way out here who just seems to sell a very expensive hat. I'm already up to 126 gold. That's going to buy me some cool stuff. I just need to not get hit again because I'm down to one health. These boats had lots of coins on them too. And what is that beautiful creation? Might have to go and explore that and see exactly what kind of treasures it has to offer me. Right, this seems to be a pirate fortress. So we're naturally going to wander our way to the top. Or look for better weapons. Nearing the top, we found a flimsy shield and an iron ingot plus these two idiots. I wish I hadn't sold all my bones along the way. If I had them, I could upgrade my hammer right now. Definitely had to do a bit of a tricky jump to get up here, but we get a nice view of some of the map. And the very highest point. It's only from here that I can see glowing green things on top of some of the rock pillars. So climbing is definitely going to be a thing in this game. I need to climb on everything. Ooh, look at the gold ship. I bet that's full of valuables. We haven't really determined if fall damage is a thing yet, but we're about to. Yeah, it seems like it probably is. But also in ghost mode, I can see what's on top of these rock pillars. Mostly just a green block of slime. <coughs> Fun! Now we're finding some of the better stuff. A harpoon for 800 gold, a better shield for 1200 gold, and a spear for 1200 gold. So, could I borrow some money? Found a guy who's smart enough to be selling bones, so I'm gonna go ahead and buy enough of those. Correction, I'm gonna buy one. He was selling one bone. And they're selling hooks. They don't seem like that great of a weapon, but boy are they expensive. 4,800. Ooh, boss crab. This is going to be fun. Eat hammer. Oh, I thought even as strong as I thought. Stupid crabs. Now that is a really big boar, so I'm thinking it's probably guarding something really good. So we're going to kind of work our way around these ones. 
and hopefully find whatever it's guarding. Whoop, might need some stronger stuff before we're able to take all these on. Unless they don't corner very well. This one's kind of stuck on a rock. Oh, never mind, it jumped off. Hopefully finding some new stuff as I go up the mountain, like lava bloom. These are probably worth something. And a fairly dangerous looking cave. There's chests hidden in precarious spots, and I think I like that. That means they've got to be full of good stuff, right? Open and health potion. I mean, in a cave like this, health potions are obviously pretty helpful. Four whole coins in that chest. But you know the controls are pretty tight when I'm actually able to make these jumps with... Oh, too much hesitation. Think I might have grabbed that at the last second. Pretty sure there's some way to unstuck yourself. I just don't know what it is. Well, I reloaded the game. It looks like I stole up all my stuff and I'm back to the starting point. So that worked out pretty well. Pretty sure that once I sell whatever crap I'm carrying on me, I'll be able to buy an axe or a pickaxe. And that means I'll be able to harvest more crap. After selling, I'm up to 225 gold. And do you see what I see? The glasses are back on the stone. So let's go see what the blind old lady will give me for these. Good news, I found your glasses. I definitely didn't sell them for profit. Yes, these aren't her glasses. The ones on her head are actually her glasses. I get to keep these ones, so do I get a reward for walking all the way up here, or... Guess I'll just go sell these then and kill some crabs along the way. After selling, I've got enough for a new tool. I just need to decide if I want a pickaxe or an axe. I've seen more stuff, I think, for pickaxes that looks interesting to me, so we're gonna go with that. This better be worth my time, or I'm gonna come back and murder you. I'm officially a miner, and I'd never really noticed there's an island over there, too. Now, if I could just find some ore instead of all these logs, it would have benefited an axe. Is this ore? Can I mine this? There's a rat in that bush. Is there seriously no ore yet? Like, I'm halfway up the mountain and I still haven't found a single bit of ore. So I'm kind of wondering if this is pretty valuable given that it's on top of the trees. Some kind of feather that I've never seen before. I found my first sparkling rock, so now I can get a little bit of ore for whatever that's worth. There's chests and stuff hidden all over the place. I'm just not sure if it's worth it to go to most of these. So far, it hasn't been. But I'm kind of liking the looks of that green sparkling thing. I'm going to need to find a way up there. Double mining action for double the rocks. I fell a long ways down. I have no idea how to get back up there, but I want that green crystal. And I do finally have enough to upgrade my hammer and now that it's done it does two to nine damage which is actually a pretty big increase but here's what i also noticed if i get 12 bones i can upgrade it again sea soul doesn't have any more bones to sell but if i reload the game then he restocks his bones so i can buy one every day for only two gold this is also a great way to piss off everyone on your steam list but that was about as much fun as you'd think it would be but I've got 12 bones, which means we have a fine green bull hammer. Or we don't. We're still doing 2 to 9 damage, but we suddenly have half the bones we did before, so I'm not really sure what happened. Well, we still have a pretty good weapon. I'm going to go sell the rest of my crap for profit, and then we're going to try and smash that green gem open. I can even see something from here. There's a green glowing thing right there that I want, and then there's something standing right there that I also want. Probably going to end up smashing both. I've actually found one of the gems right over here. It kind of sucks I have to drop down to get it because I want to see what's up there, but we're going to go for the gem. All right, so what exactly is this thing? A moonstone. Did I pick it up? Where did it... Oh, it's on the ground still. It's worth 12 gold. It's used to craft elven weapons and armor, so I'm assuming that's pretty good stuff. Might as well see where this goes. I'm sure there's more crap to be found along this ledge. Like more moonstones. All I need to do now is figure out how to craft elven stuff. Ooh, and there's a gold chest below me. That's got to be something good, right? And it had a single iron ingot in it. That's it. Even this random chest had a blue sapphire in it. That's way more exciting than an iron ingot. Ooh, that was a dangerous chest. Not really a lot of good options to get down from here, so let's not... That's fine. Oh good, a rat. I wanted something to take my frustration out on. How's the new weapon work? So far pretty good. I was really hoping for one more upgrade to make it just a little bit easier, but that's fine. I'm finding so many iron ingots. This one gave me an emerald, but I don't even know what I'm supposed to use iron ingots for. I assume upgrading weapons, but I don't have any iron weapons. So it turns out I can upgrade my iron mining pick to a fine iron mining pick. I'm not sure what the point is, but if I can find two more iron bars, I'm going to do just that. Or I could try and save up 1200 gold for an iron greatsword. I'm sure I could upgrade that too. While I'm making my way back to the uh, lava mine, I'm going to kill the big crab. These are what I was looking for. I want to mine these. Ember shard. Material used for upgrading weapons. I really need to find some of these weapons that I can upgrade. A diamond. We're going to have to drop something to pick up a diamond. What do we drop? Maybe just a regular shiny thing because a diamond is worth 32 gold by itself. Probably worth a small fortune. And we found an azurite ingot. And I'm going to need a bigger backpack suit. It's only worth 10, which is actually less than gold, but Again, used for weapons and armor. This game's going to be a moneymaker, though. There's tons of good stuff in here. This is not going to be a particularly easy jump to make. 
But we're gonna go for it, and then we're gonna fall down. Well, we survived at least. I've tried several times to make that jump. I'm giving up. It's probably full of four gold anyway, so I don't care. It's not worth the time. But since I'm still in a neighborhood, let's see what happens if I do upgrade my iron pickaxe. Next, if I give it 18 iron bars, it makes an excellent iron mining pick. I was getting tired of all these rats chasing me, so I'm gonna turn and try and fight them all, but I also need to heal up before I'm gonna take them all on. But it's definitely easier and quicker when you're all in one tight little group like that. Never mind, they do a lot of damage when you're all in the little group, so I'm mostly just gonna run away from them now. So let's see what this newly upgraded pickaxe gets me. As your right ingot. So, so far that's at least a little bit better of a result. More iron ingots, which I won't complain about because they should further upgrade my pickaxe. I'm not sure if it actually made a difference or not because I'm finding a lot of the same stuff, but I'm gonna pretend like I'm finding better stuff to make me feel better. Seems like I also found where all the goblins live. Ah yeah, it's a nice place you have here. Ow. Yeah, they're all pretty happy with me right now. Ooh, a sand cave. This place looks good for mining. Lots of very big crabs that are hostile. So I'm gonna have to be very careful in here. At least the crabs are a little bit slower than the rats. I don't know why everything wants to hurt me. I'm trying my best. One thing I do know for sure is this guy asked me to find some stones. And I've definitely found lots of stones. So hopefully he's happy. He wants to give me his staff. Since I'm not going to drop any of my gems, we're going to drop more shiny things. Yes, let's see what this staff does. Novice Staff of Fire, 1 to 8 damage, which is plenty. You know what? I think I'm going to like this better, because I can actually stand on things and kill them. But they can't reach me. First things first, let's give it the crab test. Arcane skill unlocked. The crab's going to charge at me. But, you know what? I'm going to like this. The ranged ability goes a long ways. Also, how do we upgrade it? 12 of those. I have 8 of them so far. What even are these? Right, those are the ember shards, and I do know where to find those. I like the range I have on these. I can hit these rats from so far away. Just need to get a little more damage out of this. And the more I kill, the more my skill is going to go up, and I think the more damage I'm going to do. It seems like as soon as you have the high ground, they don't really know what to do anymore. And that's just fine by me. Now let's just hope for lots of ember shards. Well, we got one. I also just found a bow and arrow out of this chest, which does 1 to 4 damage, so that's probably actually pretty good. I think the ranged weapons are the way to go. Anyways, finally made it back to my ember shard mining, so I'll be able to upgrade my staff momentarily. And with that, we have what we need, so back to home. So let's see what kind of damage upgrade we're going to get. And with that, it's done. 1 to 9. We went from 1 to 8 to 1 to 9. So that could be better, but that's still pretty good. If we could be hitting things for 9 plus a critical hit, things would be dying quickly. I hit the rat for 8 and it took off half its health. 2 hits for a rat, so that's a lot better than it was. But I think we can still do a lot better with a little bit of searching.